Good morning, good morning. Hello. Hello. Oh, wow. Working out? Huh? Said you're working out? Oh, yeah, yeah I'm, in, I'm in the gym. Ah. Like usual, clients just left. Finish my own, you know, know how it goes. Yes. Getting how I live and living how I'm getting it. Um, I probably do. <laughs> yeah. One of the things I wanted to uh, uh, level set on, I think, uh, aside from all the things that we have going on right now, I think that gets pushed aside for two seconds because we got an opportunity. So as soon as uh, I'll give everybody a couple more minutes to, to jump on in um, so that we can get with uh, get with the get with. Um, yeah, we'll give a, give a couple more minutes. All right, let me uh, drop the agenda. I dropped a message in Slack as a follow-up from our last meeting's conversation. Um, I can put that under opens though too, to follow up on that. Oh yeah, definitely go ahead. All right, all right. Let's uh, uh, let's get into it. Um, so, um, we have a very short, well, say a short window, but the window is here. We strike while the iron's hot. Um, Krobe and I have been working on something now uh, for the better part of six months, um, and it all spawned from, you know a conversation that Christine and I had. This is a dream, the dream from this time last year, uh, but it's it, it could become a reality, right? So we have an opportunity to not just be a full-fledged SIG, but we have an opportunity to be a working group, an actual DEI working group, uh, functioning at a level where we have the support of, of the, the GM of the Open SSF and we have tentacles in other areas of the LF that are doing great things in DEI that we could reach out to them. Um, and we also have tentacles in other uh, organizations, other, other, other standards bodies, you know, such as Oasis, which I happen to be on the board of directors. I keep saying that because it's still fresh. It's still, it's still surreal to me. Um, but I've ran on the platform of, of DEI over there as well. Uh, all these things allow us to create partnerships across. Uh, I'm sorry, that, that, that somebody else want to say something? I'm, ju I'm jumping in. No, go ahead. Oh. Go. So we have an opportunity. I posted in the Slack uh, the uh, proposal. I started some work and then I brought it out and I got with Christine. Christine jumped in and, and, and uh, put her, put her uh, 
her touch on it made it something that I didn't even have. I, I'm not capable of doing that. She did it. Um, and now all we need are for some more hands to go in and flesh a lot of those areas out for potential SIGs. Um, after we do that, because of course, UMCAR wants to see uh, mission, vision, uh, scope, and, and roadmap, uh, strategy and roadmap. Um, so so we, we got to fill those areas out. Um, I say strike while the iron's hot because we have Crow, who, who's on the call right now, member of the tech, you know, huge supporter, also happens to be chair of the tech. We have so much support in so many key places that it would behoove us to act as quick as possible, get whatever needs to be gotten done um, so that we can get the right buy-in, right? So that the, it's not just buy-in at that point, it's support because we've done what we needed to do, right? Um, so I wanted to make that a top, a top agenda item. And I hate saying drop whatever we're doing right now because we can always pick it back up Oh, and not we can always, we will pick it back up at a larger scale, uh, you know, once we reach uh, that working group level. So I'll pause there and I, and I may be uh, putting a lot of carts before horses. So please somebody jump in and say, do slow down or whatever it is like that. I'll, I'll take that as well. But um, I'm excited and I, and I hope that that's, uh, that sentiment is felt uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout, throughout the people here. Yeah, I definitely agree. Let's uh, probably put all our, our focus on on that. And then, you know, as we plan and do the strategies, we can pick up these other little pieces and figure out um, when and where they go. I, I'm down to help with the uh, strategy. Just uh, let me know where, where and how I can help. Yeah, we have the uh, the doc is in Slack. Um, I don't know if any, if everyone has seen it. I don't know if everyone needs to have access to it either. I'm, 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 I thought I made it uh, when I put it up to Slack. I thought I made it so that anyone with the link can edit. I thought I did that. Uh, let me know if that's not the case. Um, but it but it should be right there in Slack. I'll post it again. If you if you guys don't see it, I'll post it again. Um, and and, uh, and it's it's right there. So where you'll see blank spots. You see, wherever you see a blank spot that think, conceptualize, put it down on paper, we'll all work in, we'll all work on it and, and, and flesh it out. Um, we just want to get that done as soon as humanly possible. Uh, you know, I have a meeting with Umkar, I believe either, uh, I believe today or, or, or tomorrow, and I, and I get the feeling because of the conversations he's had with Probe that uh, one of the first questions he's going to ask me is about where we're coming along with this type of stuff. So he can, so he can go in and look at it. And, and sign off on it too. He wants to be able to say, okay, this is good. Let's get it before the TAC to, for, for, uh, for them, to, for the TAC to look at and review and approve. And we get put, we have put PRs up and all kinds of stuff. So uh, issues and all that kind of stuff. So, so we, you know, let's, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gonna ask about it. So I'm saying as soon as we can, let's, let's uh, put pen to paper on it um, as a team. Yeah, okay. So timeline is today and tomorrow. If you can, I mean, I don't know if you're open to it. I'm happy for you to like do that alone. But if you want anybody else on that call with Omkar, I think that would be valuable. Um, but um, so I see this document here um, and there's a lot of our, a lot of the stuff from the sections that we built out for the mobilization plan can be utilized for this directly. Um, it's just organizing them in a way that points to sort of the overarching aim here. But the overarching aim here is the business case, right? Like that's the fundamental yes. value. Yes. Yeah. Should we and take the, this time then to just go through the document and start uploading, updating, yeah. maybe start with a blank spot? I would say to so use as much as we can during this today's session, at least to start yeah. thinking about it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, so, okay. to answer to answer Nicole's question, Nicole, in the document, uh, um, Christine at the top of the document outlined everything that needs to occur uh, for the most part in this particular proposal doc to go before uh, the tech. 
So that, that was an outline that Christine put right up front at the top so that so that could be a guiding point for us as we continue to fill out uh, fill out the proposal sheet. Um, so so the, take a look at that. And then of course, if there are any questions about any of those items, we can we can answer that there. But in terms of a, a reference point, uh, that I believe that what Christine put up, and correct me if I'm wrong, Christine, it came right from um, mm -hmm. the, 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 uh, the tax um, requirements for putting forth proposals. And I know Probe had, probably had a hand in that too. So um, yeah, it's right there, Nicole. So any questions you have about that stuff? Yes, yeah, send those over. Yeah, it came from um, Rock Crow. But the question is, should we just go ahead and start looking at it right now, at least, even if it yeah. were to just If anyone out? doesn't have access to it yet, request it. And then what I would actually propose, because I think we need, we've got 50 minutes left. If we can spend 10 minutes async, reading, adding notes and comments, and then come back on the call, I'll call us all back on in about eight minutes. Let's do that, make sure we focus in, and then we can decide where we want to parse up the time. Um, I think that would be really effective because I need a second to like review and absorb this. I don't know if anyone else does that. Oh, no, no. I agree. Let's do that. Cool. All right. Meet you here in eight minutes.
All right. Got a little carried away there, but do we want to jump on the call and uh, loop in on some thoughts? Yep. Cool. Well, I am trying to get us those 2023 stats. So. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I hope that what you guys read was uh, was satisfactory to you. There's, there's a lot of good work put into this, um, and and a lot of, uh, you know, over the last uh, few months that we've been doing this, we've all had uh, thoughts and and ideas of where we wanted to see the different initiatives that we want to work on go right, and, and each one of us has had like these wild thoughts of we could do this, we could do that. And I hope it's all reflected here. Um, and I hope that through reading what you've read, you can see that we have a crazy opportunity to do something damn amazing. Um, so so, I, I, so I, I'll say that and stop there. Yet yeah, share your thoughts and, and, and uh, also, you know, whatever hands you want to put on the paper, put them. Yeah, I think it's a, a good starting point. I don't know if we want to go through the individual, individual sections or we're waiting for Saul to find her, find the numbers. Um, but, or if we want to tackle where we're lacking and maybe Omkar might be questioning and asking more details for, which I think is the strategy. Um, what are folks' thoughts? Yeah, so... I think, am I on mute? I don't think so. I think yeah. what Omkar is going to be wanting to have. So in order to move this forward, uh, at least my perspective on the case is that it needs to be scoped enough to where there can be a reasonable argument for money and time resources on it, right? If it's no longer a volunteer effort in in entirely. Um, so I think it's going to take us a little bit of time to scope this down into something that's practical and actionable. A lot of the legwork has been done here though, like all of the work that you all have been doing and a lot of the work that Jay has been doing, it's getting people primed to let this jump in with a community already set for it. And I think that's what has to be communicated. This isn't starting it up. We are so ready to get this going. It just needs to exist. Um, so I think if we can communicate that a little bit more clearly, like, so I would, I would say what we need to, we've got the business case, but I think having already met five times we explain how many dozens of times have we met <laughs> um so providing sort of a quantification around that um i'll i'll try to get a little bit of that because when did we start meeting this was months ago this is uh, december mm -hmm. yeah i'll just make a note meeting since december twenty twenty two. yeah um that's it. Those were just my initial thoughts. We need to decide what our E stands for. If it's equity or equality, I've seen it both use. We should uh, pick one. And Make sure we're consistent. Definitely, definitely. Well, for me, it's equity. Yeah, it's equity. Um, yeah. We want to make sure we go through and make that consistent across the board, please. Like in our repo and whatnot. Okay. Any other thoughts, I guess? So what I think might be valuable right now, oops, sorry, I just knocked over my water. I think what would be valuable right now is to set this up as a GitHub issue um, and put a net out on the Slack. And I mean, well, it depends. Is that, like, do we want this to be an open document or at least a readable document? So then they should be putting any notes, ideas on the thread uh, so that they can see it. So on the thread of the issue. Well, so we should request that even if we make the statement on the Slack, I would say try to consolidate it on the Slack, on the GitHub because that has the wider audience um, and start encouraging feedback. And okay. 
Dr. Crow? Yeah, I think we can start off with the um, education repo, start your issue there. We can mull it over. And then when we're ready to officially move this forward, we'll want to make a TAC issue to formally request a working group uh, creation. Yeah, I'll say again, though, time is of the essence. Yeah. Um, you so, know, we, we... I mean, putting it out on review does not mean by any means that the 10 people that are on this call are not going to be the people that actually do the work. Um, but it is, it, we do want to have this be as open as possible in principle, making sure that people are invited to engage if they want to. Um, so, but what I would love is when you put it out, so make the call on Slack and then put the issue on GitHub, but stay state specifically. And for me, like, give me a literal like time and date when we like, like it's our zero time, right? Because that will help me because it's the end of my day in the UK. But if I need to stick around till seven, eight thirty today, I can do that theoretically, but I prefer the morning. So, uh, what I, so what I'll do then here is, um, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll put crow. I'll, I'll put crow on the hot seat here. Crow, uh, you know, for for to put an issue up for for the tack and for the tack to have enough time to chew on it, uh, review it, and everything else before it goes before uh, the tack meeting. Um, you know, let's let's backwards plan then. I guess. Um, how much time do you think the tack needs to chew on it uh, before it goes before the tack officially in conversation? It needs to be filed at least one week before the TAC meeting. And then I typically uh, poke them the Thursday or Friday before asking everyone to review issues. For the 27th call, that is uh, booked. So there is no available time there to talk about it next week. Uh, your next date would be the 11th. Um, which unfortunately I'm going to have to miss because I need to take my kid into a uh, doctor's consultation. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I'm not the, I, I'll get it put on the agenda. I would love to be there, but I, I won't be able to participate on the 11th. Sadly, my so, child comes before this. <laughs> sadly. Sadly. Yeah. Um, all right. So, so, the, so the, the 11th, and that means, well, I mean, we we could we could do it the eleventh. I would really like uh, I would really like your 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 voice on that call for this, and that, and that's only because of some of the conversations I've been in regarding this uh, as as of like maybe even a couple of months ago, right? There there was still not not stomach rumblings per se, but there were some questions as to as to the as to the why why another working group why another this why another that. <laughs> Um, you know, we can I, file I, it in the TAC repo sooner. There's nothing to say we oh. can't do it sooner, but yeah, like, we need to have exactly a near that. final kind of work product we're willing to get that external feedback on. So we're yeah. looking at a TAC meeting for the 25th then. TAC meeting for the 25th. Um, we want to get it up. We want to get it into the, then into the repo by, or, or as, as an issue uh, by the 11th at least. Yes. Um, yes, but I I think it'd be interesting to see if there's if there's reticence more broadly at making working groups. Uh, we should not be the working group that comes up against those existential questions. If they have existential questions about the organizational design, those should be covered on the eleventh before we go and do a proposal. That's more efficient. Oh, okay. I'm I'm, th I'm thinking about how much time it takes for us to finish to to finish our breakfast. Right, we got we got to, we got to finish the breakfast on this one, um, you know. So so I'm thinking if we can finish the breakfast by the 11th, then that gives us two weeks to 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 uh, digest and and uh, and and settle any indigestion, right? You like like the analogy I made there. Damn, huh? that was on the spot too. That was, that was on, feel free to use that anywhere you see fit. <laughs> um, but but that'll give us two weeks to settle any any stomach rumblings and and then uh. You know, by the time we hit the 25th, we'll be in a good we'll be in a good place to have the conversation, get a stamp of approval, and be off and running. Yeah. And then uh, Crow can be there, and he can be our Linux Pepto Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> um, well done. Just, well done. 
as, as Jay noted, Jay is going to have a talk with Omkar very near future. Um, I meet with Omkar weekly, and I've already kind of soft set this up that we were going to come back with the proposal. That's where he again was very uh, uh, supportive of the idea. So it's um, we'll have the opportunity to kind of present it at the executive level sooner. But yeah, the actual official TAC call um, 25th would be uh, the next slot. Yeah, next week's call just filled up so quick. And I don't know that we'll be done. I, I want to make sure this group is happy yeah. with what you're saying in the document before we move it to that wider conversation. Yeah, I agree with uh, putting more time so that they can bake. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good, we're solid then. We have a, we have a, a, a what have you held? It's the uh, 20th today. We got a good couple of weeks two and a half weeks maybe to get this uh to get that issue up um but between we have a good week and a half to get the document fleshed out before we get the issue i get a couple of days to review it then throw the issue up there and so do you want to stick so. stick with the issue for a next on uh sorry stick with the document on uh, uh, the google doc for the next couple of days and then file an issue uh well we could file the issue with with the education uh education sig repo right away uh, yeah yeah cool. yeah I didn't do that. right away and as soon as we file the tac issue i'll also reach out in slack and to the tac mailing list asking for everyone to spend some extra time and give special consideration to reviewing that particular issue once it's filed yes uh when you do make that, I think it would be really good, a call to action so that there's corporate engagement. Uh, I'd say like we're interested in their DE&I practices if they wanna highlight anything great. Um, I, would, I think that would be a nice buy-in because they need a reason to engage in what is still a high risk <laughs> for their time. Um, but if they use it as marketing opportunity, that's cool. And they're good and interesting like stats and practices. I think, I think that's an amazing idea, believe it or not, because you've got a lot of organizations that are Tote and DE and I, and, and and you know what better way to tote you know DE and I by what you're doing externally, not just internally, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you know, so I think I think that's a that's an excellent idea. All right, good. We got a plan. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, Nicole, what say you? I have you. you I, I didn't. I wait on Nicole to say something. Nicole, what say you? Oh. Well, first, I want to introduce um, AJ. AJ is my friend. Um, he is helping me with the list. He's worked in cyber for a while. He currently works. Well, I can let him go after I'm done. Um, I should be able to kind of help and give some input with this. Um, I'm just trying to figure out, I guess, when I look at it, that jumps out, making sure that we... Um, cut these groups to kind of match right and then I guess also to be inclusive of some of the stuff that Max brought up in the Slack. So I will definitely try and add some kind of top level comments um, in the document just kind of today um, because I want to make sure that we can leverage um, some of the PR and really attacking um, what we talked about with helping orient people when they come into open SSF and linking up with some of those groups. So I, I just think um, some of that needs to be a little bit more specific, but I think what we have there is a start and we just got to build on it. Wait, Nicole, a quick note on that. So there might be some exciting stuff. We had a call, a senior call with a couple of these folks um, with some of the interns for uh, Alpha Omega and, it, and I think marketing as well. And it sounds like there's interest in writing up a blog post that like helps people understand the SIGs. But I also think like getting this together, like a DE and I approach to getting involved, um, that might be getting built. So I'll definitely try to loop in on that because resources need to be in there. Um, and I told so, um, you, you seen it? Um, would that link to some of the college stuff you're doing too? Or? 
Yeah, it should link to the, the university things that we're working on. Um, I did add that to the decision is to make sure that part of the university stuff that the Alpha Omega team is working on falls under that. Um, the other thing I want to note is uh, last week during my conversation with Omkar, he was very um, excited for metrics of how we're going to record uh, the identities and figure out how we are going to show improvement in uh, DEI within the working groups, the SIGs, and Open SSF. Um, I think if part of the proposal starts with not starts but includes that information, um, it might it will help the argument. That was something I was just thinking about from this lab uh, this past week. Um, well, I, so man, AJ, I apologize. What we didn't do when we opened up was to say if we had any new friends on the call, we didn't even do that. Um, so we kind so we kind of missed you all together, AJ, and I apologize about that. Uh, AJ, let us know who you are. Uh, you know, you came in with Nicole, but let us know who you are and and you know how you're helping and and what what you're excited about with this initiative. I mean, anything you want to tell us, let us know that. Sir, uh, can you hear me to start? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, sorry, I was double muted. I'm a big fan of all things Zoom through many years of professional life. So my name is AJ. I work in a U.S. government agency, so I'll be kind of vague about that for now, not because it's something shady, but if I want to put that I'm doing this uh, in my official government entity and affiliation, I think I actually have to ask about that. But let's say I work in an organization that is not really shadowy, uh, but I will follow procedure. Um, I work in a group that is an agency that writes lots of regulations and specifications of standards for how the US government does cybersecurity, among other things, and some other things that are uh, not just about computer technology. Uh, I have known Nicole for a while. I have noticed that the industry could use more diversity and more equity. And she told me she what she was up to in the context of this project of the list and larger, longer term initiative within Open SSF. And I think it's really important. And I wanted to know how I could pitch in. So that's why I'm here. I can address any questions that people have about uh, things that I wasn't really clear on, but that's about it for now. Excellent, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, thank, well, thank you for having me. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, so, I, and Nicole mentioned that you jumped in on the spreadsheet too. I haven't had a chance to look at it, uh, but thank you for that work. Um, you want to talk about anything that, you, that you've done uh, with that thus far, things that you think need to be included on it, all that kind of stuff? I, I really need to think up with Nicole. I've done, I've done very, very little of that, and I will give most of the credit to her. Um, I reached out to her uh, with an unrelated ask that became very clearly part of this because it's deeply related. I have friends who run cybersecurity conferences, um, more academic in nature than the ones that you're all probably familiar with because I can see the names of uh, some big corporate entities here. And all of you are probably familiar with the more industry focused conferences and the material there and the kind of people that go for, for all definitions of what that may mean. Um, a professor who runs a cybersecurity conference that's academic in nature was like, are you, are you aware of people from underrepresented groups that should be given conference shifts? And I was talking to Nicole about that. She talked about the greater scale of the list. And I said, that's very interesting. I guess it stands to reason that there would be benefit in trying to figure out how that connects to the list that uh, I've been working on very little, but I will give her most of the credit. And I can see that there's probably a larger need for that because I don't know having actually having interns in my agency that report to me, it's not really clear they know what like the industry or more academic conferences are more generally and what's available to them and whether they have means or not, um, especially for people that don't have the means or might not have the opportunity to be great to get them there. Um, so that's how I came into this. AJ, man, now you'd be surprised to know that that was one of the first things that Christine and I talked about a year ago, like about one year ago. One of the first things that her and I talked about was how can we get uh, students even, you know, from underrepresented communities into these conferences, uh, you know, just, to, just to walk around, just to be in the room, just to be in the conversations, ask their questions. 
So it's phenomenal that 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 thought is being had even at the uh, at the at the, at the federal level uh, as well, especially when it comes to recruitment and retention and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, so so that, so that you're you're uh, like-minded. You like-minded folks sit here. So so please, by all means, put those thoughts down on paper as well. Yeah, I don't I don't really see much of a government industry bridge. I mean, like not I do see it. I mean that there's not a lot of friction there. Um, I'm getting older every year, and um, where where I work, there aren't many young people, or there isn't a lot of diversity in some people, so it begs the question if this work will ever get done. Um, I'm sure you'll publish this recording everywhere, so gladly. I'm sure my coworkers are like, I'm glad, oh, that's AJ's voice, I'm glad he's saying these things everywhere all the time, at least he doesn't name names, so. Well, I'm really glad to have you here. Um, so I have also worked for three letter agencies but now I live in the UK so I can say I have worked for a missile defense agency in the US Air Force and it was kind of great it was really cool projects uh, um, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm less cool by the way I, I work for a four letter agency which is not nearly as impactful as probably people would think we're the people that write all the regulatory documents the people will be very excited if I tell you you won't be surprised yeah. it's not as nearly as interesting and as mysterious as I make it out to be um, but I probably have to ask up so I apologize but I, I do want to say, I, I actually found a lot of diversity in those spaces, specifically on projects where IP was being broken apart and they were using consultants to help with that break apart of IP. Um, because uh, there's a bunch of minority led businesses. So they actually have incredibly good hiring practices. And I think there's a couple of just like really, really good cases of at least federal consulting firms that right like federal consulting firms or cybersecurity that come straight out of the, the like HSBCs like so cool <laughs> um but yeah I'm really glad to have you here uh and also yeah the other conferences I go to NIST we can talk <laughs> okay I know we had like a couple of other things on the agenda as well, and we wanted to focus on the proposal, but do we want to hit some of those items as well? Because I know I, I, I see you had like a question uh, that seemed like you needed some quick feedback on. Well, I know I know there was something from, uh, I want to say from, from Catherine too on, on, the, uh, on the Slack. Yeah, yeah, uh, we have some open... There was a few questions that, that was asked on the Slack. Yeah, we have them listed in the opens and the agenda. Yeah, yeah, that's also something we could talk about asynchronously too. It was just something I wanted to follow up with. You know, if we wanted to get started with um, some posts highlighting kind of an on ramp or just even basic at a glance information, I threw out some questions where you know to try and standardize a uh, an interview style blog post where we could just get basic stuff very quickly. I, I actually spent some time. Um, you know, kind of poking around contributor documents in the various working groups, and they're very long, or <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so my my thought was just just quick points. Again, suggestions welcome, edits welcome, and we could do that later kind of thing. Okay. We could probably do one on the uh, feedback from the the mentees on the uh, community office hour. That could be a quick short with just some testimonials from them of what they got. Yeah. So testimonials from them, but also isn't there a defined at least single, if not two leaders of each of these? So if you've got an interview style, yeah. can't we send it to them? Um, I think that would be really good because it also personalizes the interaction. And so they understand that it's a call with human beings on it, because I think it's important. <laughs> People are just jumping in. Yeah, great. Um, Catherine, you can reach out to me um, if you need to connect with the mentees. Um, my question was just mostly on the metrics of how to record um, our improvement and how do we have a baseline of where we're at and where we're moving towards. Um, I think with the proposal, we'll be, we'll be marketing and hitting that. That came from Omkar, so I, I strongly believe that it needs to somehow appear in the proposal because he may eventually ask it anyway. So um, I'll add in a section, I've written up a section in the third section of that mobilization report. It's all around the statistics around hiring and retention based on the belief that there's at least one web page that they all center through that's Linux Foundation so we can track it. Um, but yeah, we'll have a start to that. Perfect. 
Um, the other two points was um, I went to go find our meetings for the education group and the community office hours and they weren't there. So curious if that's something we want on YouTube. It's recorded anyway. What was that again, Yessie? Are we not in the calendar or we're not showing up in YouTube? I'm not showing up in YouTube. Like the community office hours, that hasn't appeared in YouTube. Uh, poke uh, Khalil. Okay. He's the gentleman responsible for getting all the uh, content connected. Yeah, he's, a, he, he's aware of it. I just wasn't sure if that's something we wanted on YouTube. Heck yeah. Okay. Um, and then the third one is more of a, uh, it could wait until after the proposal, because I think after the proposal, we'll have a better idea of um, our scope, our target, our mission. Uh, but I started drafting out our, our an outreach uh, email so that I can send it out to um, my folks in the different communities that I am connected to, Haitians in tech, Latinas in cyber, and a few others. So do you want us to review the, the draft that you have at the very least? There's nothing yet there. I just started. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, I was going to draft it before, but I had to um, help uh, some of the mentees out. But um, I think the proposal comes first because that would help with the language on the outreach. Okay. okay. Like in the software comment, like in the beginning of it? Yeah, so typically, yeah. Uh, yeah, a good way to do it is just like have it up as a slide. So for the first five minutes, have that and the agenda below it. So you discuss what you're going to discuss, do introductions while you have the code of conduct up. It makes sure that everyone's uh, gotten time to read it and have access to it. OK. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a good call. We should be doing that anyway. I mean, I I, I know we don't. I, I know I forget to do it, but that should be that should happen uh, on every Linux, call. There's a Linux uh, like process. I found it somewhere, and it's got all of those tips. They're not my ideas. They're good ones, but they are written somewhere on GitHub, and that's as much as I can tell you. I can't find them again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good one to add. All right. All right. I think that's about it. We can wrap a little early. I think this has been good, though, but um, I will take a look on the Slack and keep an eye out for our GitHub issue and keep rolling with our deadlines. Yeah. The only thing that I wasn't quite sure that I needed, are we now, until July 1st, are we collaborating in the doc and we have people actioning on the doc or do we wait until the issue? It was The timing wasn't clear to me. No, co co collaborate in the doc. That, that should happen regardless. The issue should go up either today or tomorrow. I mean, we don't have to wait on the issue on in the education sick repo. We don't have to wait on that. They can go up today or tomorrow. Um, and, oh, okay. But collaboration on the doc should happen throughout. Um, and then, uh, and then of course, you know, when we're, when we reach the point where we're like, okay, this is ready by the 11th of July, of course, then we can throw that issue up to the TAC uh, for the TAC that you want from the 11th to the 25th. All right, because what, what I wasn't clear on uh, is are we actually moving the content off the doc into an issue? That was what I was not clear. On. I would just think to, oh. the, to review. Yeah, the, yeah we just put up a, a couple of sentence issue and then link the docs. Yeah. yeah, that makes perfect sense. Man. Yeah, and right now the access, I think, is read on distribution and say it's read on distribution because we're trying to keep the discussion in the thread where everyone can see it. Yeah, because yeah, sometimes what we did in the mobilization plan is we started with the Google Doc and then we like took all the content and put it in the issue so that folks who don't have access to Google, access to Google would be able actually to, to comment. Well, the tech on issue, it. we'll want to do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, but for now, just as we're kind of jamming on getting the document put together and getting the group's voice in there, um, we can just keep it in the G Doc and then refer to it, um, okay. have the... Uh, education issue, just refer to it. Got it. Okay. Perfect. All right. Yeah, man, wait, I mean, if, this, if there's nothing else. Good. <laughs> this is some exciting stuff. Some exciting yeah, stuff. AJ, right. welcome in. Everyone else, thank you for being here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>
Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.